Today we're talking all about journaling for beginners. So if you're wanting to start a journal or maybe you want to get better at it, today I'm gonna talk about some things that you can do to kind of help you be consistent and maintain a journal. Okay, number one is you actually need a journal. And this is a very important step because I have found that it really does make a difference the kind of journal I have. I have bought several journals in my life and some of them I didn't even make it to a third page because I just wasn't very comfortable writing in it. So I know that kind of sounds silly, but take your time and kind of look through different journals or different notebooks and see does it feel comfortable to you. As a rule of thumb, I always tell people to get a notebook or a journal that is wire bound because it's just going to be more familiar as far as like when you were in school and it's just easier to write in. So as you you know start journaling more, you can start seeing things that you're more comfortable with. But I always say start by getting a ring bound uh, journal or notebook. But this is my current journal. I just really love this thing. It has little cats on it and some flowers. And it just makes me happy because I really like cats. So I really love writing in this journal. Also, something to note is the kind of paper. I don't like journals with like bright white paper. I don't find them comfortable or therapeutic to write in. So be mindful of things like that when you're getting your journal. I know it sounds silly, but when you sit down to express yourself, you wanna be really comfortable and happy with, with what you're writing in. So just like think about things like that. Um, just think about the kind of aesthetics that you generally, generally like and what your eye is drawn to. Okay, number two is something that I see a lot of people talk about. They have a bunch of different journals for a bunch of different things. I just think this is very confusing. Even for me, I've been journaling for a very long time. And at one point I did try this technique, but having a journal for gratitude and then a journal to write thoughts and then a journal to write scripts or whatever, it just seemed uh, to be a lot. So I would say that, it, especially if you're just starting out, just use one journal and combine everything in that one journal. That's actually what I do now and it really works out well for me. I just put any and every everything in my journal in terms of my thoughts. I put my goals in there. I put my feelings on how my goals are going, my progress and all those types of things. Like I just put all of that in my journal, but I just don't think it's necessary to have like five different journals or notebooks for five different things. If you decide to do morning pages, just do it in your journal. It just makes it a lot easier to just have it all in one place. Number three is don't overthink when you're writing. So when you sit down to write, when you journal, it doesn't have to be neat. It doesn't have to be organized. It doesn't have to be anything. When I sit down and write in my journal, I just brain dump how I'm feeling. I'm brain dumping thoughts. I'm just writing. Sometimes I just write a bunch of words that really aren't even related to each other. Like sometimes I be in that kind of mood. And that's the therapeutic part of journaling because nobody's gonna read it. Nobody, you know, nobody, well, I guess if somebody finds it, they may read it. But you know, it's not for anybody. It's just for you and nine times out of 10, you're not gonna go back and look at it if you think you are. So just express yourself how you feel. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't even have to make sense. Like it doesn't have to do anything, but just be what's on your mind. I don't write any complete sentences. I don't go back and erase anything. I don't even really scratch anything out. Like I have so many misspelled, because I'm a really bad speller. So I have so many misspelled words in my journal injuries. I don't even change it. I mean, sometimes I'm writing a word and I'm like, I know I didn't misspell that, but I just keep going. Cause trying to go back and fix, erase and white out, it just interrupts your, your flow and your thoughts. And the whole point is to get it all on paper. So it doesn't matter. I've seen so many videos of people like talk about journaling or whatever and their handwriting is super neat. And I guess if you have super neat handwriting, that's cool. But by nature, my handwriting looks like trash. So I just go with it. A lot of times I can't even read what I wrote, but that's not the point. So don't try to spend so much time making it perfect. This is the one thing that you can do where it does not matter. And it may be beneficial if no one can read it just in case someone finds it. Number four is, and I've seen people ask this question is, how long should your journal entries be? And the, the answer is pretty simple. And that is however long you want it to be. 
journaling doesn't really have any real rules, at least in my book. I don't really think that is the point of journaling. It doesn't have to be a page or half a page. I have written in my journal and it's been one sentence and probably a sentence that didn't make any sense. But when you start to overthink it like that, it just takes the therapeutic part out of journaling and then it just becomes an everyday, mundane, normal task. So just write however long you feel like writing. Some days I write a page, some days I write two. There have been days I've written five pages and it really, it really is no special number because it's catered to you and how you feel, your current thoughts. You may have a lot going on in your life that you just need to kind of write on paper and you may write 10 or 15 pages like it doesn't matter so i would say just however long you want to write that's how long your journal entry should be those are my four main tips for starting out with your journal or if you want to start to journal even more or kind of get into the habit of journaling hopefully these four things can help you out so i really hope that your journaling journey you discover things that you never thought you'd discover so Best of luck, and I hope that you stick with the habit and, like I said, discover some things you didn't know before. Bye.